But if if Daimaga gets these Baneling drops off, I'm really worried for White Rot right now. But uh, anything can happen from here. We'll see exactly how this unfolds. Infestors are building up more and more energy. So it, again, White Rot is really missing a timing window right now that he could have hit. But it looks like he's ready to press up here. Here he goes, and he's going to lift these uh, Infestors with his Phoenix. And there he goes. He's lifting a couple here. Banelings are going off. Fungos. Here comes the Overlord drops. And this one is going to drop all over the armies. Neuroparasite, a couple of the Colossi. And yeah, White Rod's army is basically gone. Uh, he does have two Colossus standing, but they are a property of the Zerg right now. So a huge, huge fight right there. You can see Daimaga coming out well on top. Another Colossus was trying to press in here, but he cannot afford to get too greedy. Uh, he does have to run away and regroup. You can see the supply differences, 180 to 110 right now in favor of Daimaga. White Raw is just scraping together what he can, but I have to feel that Daimaga has got this series in the bag because of those Overlord drops and because he was able to nicely deflect that Stargate Harass by killing that Void Ray. I can't overstate how important that was to, de to deflect that. 21 Banelings are morphing. He's posturing that he wants to uh, wrap them up again in these Overlords. And Stalkers are pressing up here, getting fungled. These Stalkers are going to go down for nothing, so they fall for free. Uh, White Rot is really far out of this right now. It's just going to come down to how long Daimaga lets him live. Uh, this Nexus is going down, but it actually looks like it's out of position by one square there. So White Rot looks like he's getting a little bit frazzled by the end of this series. There's a ton of Zealots morphing, but... Uh, Banelings really waste, on, waste zealots that are called clumped up. There's one Baneling that really wanted to get loaded up here, but the overlords forgot about him. Here comes the big drop, pressing up here for Daimaga. More infestors are in the back there, could probably land fungals and get all this set up. Down go all the zealots, as we can see them all melting to Baneling drops here. And down goes White Raw's army. One Colossus is now parasited, melting away the rest of the Protoss army. Another fungal growth goes down, and Daimaga has definitely got this one now. White Rye has to has to quit out of this. There's no way he can hold this advancement. 15 more Roaches, plus 2 melee attack, plus 3 ground carapace on the way. Daimaga putting on a clinic here in this game. Really taking it to White Raw. Really showing that he wants this series and he ends it pretty, pretty fast. Uh, White Raw is really scrambling to try and get as much done as possible with the remainder of his units, but he just does not have enough right now to hold this off. This Nexus is going to easily get denied, and the Stalkers get denied when they're warping in on that pylon. So uh, there's basically one Colossus here that's like, oh, I'm going to try to win this by myself, but no, he's not going to be able to. Stalkers blink up in order to protect this Colossus, form a little bit of a wall, and the Colossus might still go down from Roach Fire. Yeah, one more hit's going to do it, and he barely, barely gets away. So that, that Colossus, as his days are still numbered, but he lives to fight on for a couple more shots on these Roaches. Roaches just press up here. This is a completely unstoppable force right now from Daimaga. This Colossus is going to go down in no time. Blam, there it goes. Force fields go down kind of pointlessly. And once again, White Rot is pretty much out of this. Uh, one of his gateways is unpowered, and he could actually unpower the rest of these uh, robotics facilities by just focusing down that pylon, but he's just going to kill it instead. Uh, kill the robotics facility. Let's look at the stream of reinforcements. White Rot says good game, and Daimaga takes the series 3-2. to two. So I hope you guys enjoyed that series. Uh, I'll be looking out for more series like this as they're definitely fun to watch as there is stuff at stake, whether it's just pride or entertainment or whether it's, there's some money on the line, which there usually is in these show matches. Uh, so cool, cool games there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be back for more casts, and I think I'm going to get more into tutorials in the next few videos, so stay tuned for that. Uh, have a wonderful day. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.